Chimbo Razo Hospital? What did she say? Chimbo Razo Hospital? That's what I said. In this park, Dr. James B. McCaw developed for the Confederate States of America a military hospital, which was then the largest in human history. What? It's on the Virginia Civil Wars Trail. Travel across America with me. Back to the sign, what did it say? It's the largest in human history? At that time, it received 17,000 wounded, served more than 76,000 patients, and get this, this is the best part, and had a mortality of less than 10%? Go Dr. McCaw. He was its commandant and medical director. Mrs. John Minge, its chief matron. Let's go. It's part of the Richmond National Battlefield Park. This is the Medical Museum. Richmond National Battlefield Park contains 13 park units and they're scattered across Hanover, Enrico, Chesterfield counties, and the city of Richmond. This is the park headquarters and it's located at 3215 East Broad Street on the east side of Richmond and they do have limited hours so pay attention to that. You'll never believe this and you probably don't care. While downtown, we went to the National Parks of Richmond at the site of the Tredegar Ironworks. And what did we find? The visitor center was closed. And we found out when we went to the Chimborazo Medical Museum, they had just closed the day before. Do not go there, no matter if it's marked on the map, it is closed. When visiting a National Park unit, the best thing you can do is get your hands on one of the park maps. This one shows all the different places and all the interpretive markers, trails, visitor centers like the Cold Harbor Visitor Center, and the auto road tour. But today we're focusing on the Chimborazo Medical Museum. On the eve of the Civil War, Richmond, Virginia was the most industrialized city in the south. Located along the James River and with five railroads radiating out from the city, Richmond grew as a marketplace, its riverfront becoming crowded with mills and warehouses. Among these structures was a growing industrial complex that had at its core the Tredegar Ironworks. As an industrial center, Richmond had to be protected. For in the spring of 1861, the Tredegar Ironworks was the only facility in the South capable of turning out heavy ordnance or munitions. As I mentioned, the Park Service no longer has a presence down there, but the American Civil War Museum is there. When I talked about my top 10 favorite spots to go in Richmond, I mentioned the White House of the Confederacy. This is the sister museum, the American Civil War Museum. But we'll get back to Chimborazo and all the great information, but I do want to remind you of all the other great things like Capitol Square, the White House of the Confederacy, Hollywood Cemetery, Maggie L. Walker National Historic Site, Hope Museum. You've got to watch that video. And St. John's Church, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death, and the Historic Burial Ground and Lumpkin Slave Jail Preservation Site. Welcome to Richmond's Main Street Station. As you're traveling down the interstate, you can't help but see this gorgeous old world masterpiece and stop 10 is the Egyptian building you got to go watch that video back to the National Park Service unit at Chimborazo on to Richmond the focal point of the Civil War the center of Confederate manufacturing fueled a modern war one of the South's largest hospitals gave care to the sick and wounded and armies battled on open fields and in miles of defensive earthworks from 1861 to 1865 Richmond's fate would determine America's future. It's the Civil War. And this is the Visitor Center, Richmond's Civil War Hospitals. During the Civil War, overwhelming numbers of sick and wounded soldiers came to Richmond seeking treatment at one of the city's dozens of Confederate medical facilities, the best known of which was Chimborazo Hospital. Established on this site in 1861, some of the hospitals were purpose-built, while others operated in conversion churches, warehouses, and hotels. Families often took in soldiers to help ease overcrowding. Many hospitals had matrons, women who mixed administrative supervision with patient care. On this 40-acre plateau, the Confederates built Chimborazo Hospital. 
one of the largest and best known Civil War military hospitals. 78,000 sick and wounded Confederate soldiers passed through the hospital from 1861 to 1865. Chimborazo's neat rows of buildings enhanced ventilation and served as a model for many post-war hospitals. None of Chimborazo's 150 wooden structures exist today. That's so unfortunate. The large building before you was constructed in 1909 as a federal weather station. That's interesting. It houses the Chimborazo Medical Museum, which tells the story of both the Confederate Medical Service and the dozens of Richmond's other wartime hospitals. According to Dr. John R. Gildersleeve, the buildings were separated from each other by wide alleys or streets, ample spaces for drives or walks, and a wide street around entire camp or hospital. The hospital presented the appearance of a large town, imposing and attractive, with its alignments of buildings kept whitened with lime, streets and alleys clean, and with its situation on such an elevated point, it commanded a grand, magnificent, and pleasing view. This 1865 image is one of only two known photographs of Chimborazo. Oh, that's sad. The site was named for Mount Chimborazo, a dormant volcano in Ecuador. Inside the park headquarters, they have this model of Chimborazo, the hospital on the hill. This is how it appeared at the end of the war. Each of the nearly 150 pine board buildings was 28 by 80 feet and well ventilated. During Chimborazo's 43 months of service, more than 75,000 patients came through its gates, making it by far the busiest hospital in either the North or the South. Most of the buildings were destroyed within the first decade after the Civil War. The Park Service provides a great description and information on Chimborazo. Several million men took up arms and went to war in the 1860s. They fell sick in unprecedented numbers and they died from wounds and disease by the hundreds of thousands. The sudden burden of caring for so many men hit the opposing governments a staggering blow. Hundreds of hospitals sprouted up around the Southern Confederacy, particularly in the capital city of Richmond. The five converging railroads at Richmond and the city's proximity to many of the war's greatest battles meant that Richmond became a booming hospital center. No medical facility anywhere on the continent during the Civil War equaled the fame and notoriety of Chimborazo Hospital. And how many of you have ever heard of Chimborazo Hospital? Please tell me in the comments below if you've ever heard of this historically significant hospital. Don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up. The Surgeon General of the Confederate States of America, Dr. Samuel P. Moore, commandeered the buildings for his department and in October 1861 established Chimborazo Hospital. The National Park Service provides a drawing of the hospital and the present location of the Richmond National Battlefield Park Visitor Center is where you see the Red Star. The Richmond National Battlefield Park uses one portion of the hill for its Chimborazo Medical Museum, which is housed in a 20th century building atop the site of the historic hospital. So as you're walking the grounds outside, realize you are walking on the original Chimborazo Hospital campus, we'll call it. Visitors to the museum will learn a great deal more about the famous hospital, about other hospitals in the Civil War, Richmond, and about the practice of medicine in the 1860s. I hope that when you do visit there that you are respectful as you walk the grounds. Because Richmond never endured a direct attack during the Civil War, Chimborazo operated safely until April 1865. How fortunate. The precise number of deaths is unknown. Educated estimates suggest somewhere in the 5,000 to 7,000 range. Men who died at Chimborazo Hospital nearly always received burial in the Confederate section at Oakwood Cemetery, only one mile northeast of the hospital. So when you visit this park, be sure to visit the Oakwood Cemetery. I'll show you some pictures. 
near the end of this video. Who were the doctors? Civil War doctors frequently are looked upon in an unfavorable light, but an evaluation of their accomplishments within the context of what was known about medical treatment in 1861 clearly shows that most Civil War doctors were dedicated, diligent in their duties, and performed heroically in the face of a terrible war. Approximately 8,000 physicians served the Confederacy. The museum is filled with memorabilia from the Civil War and primarily medical related equipment. And they had this display on the faces of Chimborazo. Doctors and soldiers plan to spend at least an hour perusing the small museum. And there is a 17 minute film. This remarkable panoramic photograph was taken by E.G. Falx an employee of Matthew Brady just after the fall of Richmond in April of 1865. The view is looking west from the western crest of Church Hill on Franklin Street, just 13 blocks west of where you are now. In addition to capturing the smoldering ruins of the city, the photograph also shows many of Richmond's wartime hospitals, some of which were never otherwise photographed. Nearly in the center, protruding above all other buildings, is the state capitol with its newly acquired U.S. flag. Just to the right center of the photograph are several covered wagons parked in the street. They stand beside Seabrooks Hospital, General Hospital Number 9. Most soldiers brought to Richmond for treatment came through this hospital before transfer elsewhere. The wagons are probably moving patients left behind during the Confederate evacuation of Richmond. Oakwood Cemetery. In 1861, Richmond was named the capital of the new Confederate States of America. And as I mentioned, one of the top stops is the White House of the Confederacy. I'll be taking you there soon. After the Civil War broke out, the city's hospitals and clinics received a large number of critically wounded soldiers. The city council agreed to provide internment for the soldiers who died in Richmond or Henrico County, and in July 1862 offered to have Oakwood Cemetery open for large-scale burial of Confederate soldiers and set aside a separate section of the grounds for this purpose. Oakwood Cemetery was set as the final resting place of soldiers who died in treatment in Chimborazo Hospital. By the end of the war, the Confederate section of the cemetery covered about 7.5 acres and contained around 17,000 burials. Earlier, I showed you the park map, and at the very bottom, you'll find Grant's headquarters at City Point. It's part of the Petersburg National Battlefield. And yes, we've been to City Point. Point. There is so much to see and do in Virginia, away from Richmond, and I do recommend that if you are a Civil War fan, you make a beeline to this state because there are so many battlefield sites that are worth visiting. There's so much to see and do in Richmond and in our nation. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Please like and leave me a comment and watch the other videos on great sites in Richmond. There's more to come.